Hi Scorpio, do I have a treat for you? Today we are doing, oh, we are going to do a reading all about um, money, wealth, career, finance, and abundance. By popular demand, I'm bringing these back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm bringing them back because in the past I would do these on a regular basis, but um, my schedule did not allow me to do this, including monthlies and regular weekly updates. So now that I have a little bit more free time, and honestly, because a lot of you guys have been requesting these, I'm bringing them back, Scorpio. So let me know. Let me know if this is something you would be interested in um, at all, because I'm taking notes of the signs that would love this. My fire signs are on board. I know Pisces is interested. And uh, if you guys would like this monthly, maybe, or every three months, quarterly, I'll try to do bi-weekly, but I'm not sure. Because I know, Scorpio, you know, you guys have other things going on in your life aside from love. So let's see what's coming in. We're opening up here. Oh, we have double eights coming in. Double eights. Okay, you know what? Let's let's focus on these for now. I feel like Spirit is saying, you know what? Let's focus on these eights. We have eight of swords. And eight of cups where are you tuning in from by the way i love reading where my scorpios are representing what city state or country um or if you don't feel comfortable sharing that perhaps how you are enjoying your day in this message maybe you're enjoying a cupcake as you watch this you're prepping your meal you're crocheting my water signs you guys are multitasking always in some way in some way that comforts you or keeps you Productive. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Okay. And then this stopped me. Okay. Scorpio, let's see what's going on. The Eight of Swords, we have your clarifier. Um, four of Wands. <clears throat> judgment. Six of Cups. We have Death. And we're looking at Four of Cups. Okay. The Eight of Swords. Now this is, if you didn't know, this energy represents like negative thoughts or restrictions, okay? Maybe paralysis, paralyzed by fear. Um, this is also like feeling restricted imprisoned in your mind trapped in place but the thing is the eight of swords it represents that it's all your behavior it's your mindset and your behavior because the reality is not keeping you back it's all in your mind it's what you accept it's what you envisualize for yourself because this person they think that they are stuck that they have nowhere to go that they are bound but we as the viewers we can see that there are other alternatives this person, if you notice, these ribbons, they're not keeping them tightly bound. They can wiggle their way. And their hands behind their back are not secure. So they can easily just move their arms around. They're not blind. They can remove the blindfolds. And even if they felt they were stuck, if they would just move ahead, they can move around and see that even though there are barriers besides, beside them, they can still step forward. And also the resources that are around them, instead of seeing it as an obstacle, use it as a tool. You can use these swords to cut these loose ribbons, right? So it's all a matter of perspective, but sometimes our negative thoughts keep us trapped in place, keep us imprisoned. So as I look at the four of wands, there's something here that you're meant to connect with, but there's fear. Okay, there's fear that's holding you back, Scorpio, in this mid-August moving into September. But the fear that you feed is limiting you from connecting with almost like what you need. Security, comfort, stability, maybe a strong foundation. There's something here like there's some type of fear of the un... Like your fear of something coming together. Maybe you're, you're afraid of the process. You're afraid of commitment, okay? Hmm. But this is something that you're going to be challenged with, working through that, thinking about what is it about the Four of Wands, okay, this security that brings you fear. 
This also shows achievements. So you can achieve um, this great completion. Because we're looking at 11-11, right? These two wands are creating like this foundation. It's a significant event or milestone, but there's something that you're like afraid of and it's hindering you from completing that. Judgment is also coming in through Scorpio, all right? So this is a re reminder that if there's something that you are struggling with in your mind or you, you, maybe you're overthinking, those thoughts and those beliefs, they're not going to serve you. What's going to serve you is this judgment energy. Judgment, we can see this as your spirit guide, God, source, your angels. Okay, whatever your higher energy that you resonate with, your higher source, call, okay, call into this higher source to help you, to help you see, to help you understand, to help you through it. Because I see judgment here. We can see this as like the universal collective energy. You Like judgment is here to help you. This divine guidance is going to help you especially in a situation where maybe you don't see something that's possible you may think that there are too many barriers or obstacles this almost kind of feels like a miracle where dun, 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 like your angels are going to come and show you hey there's a way there's a will there's a way okay but there has to be the will six of cups Mm, the six of cups six of cups I'm seeing things in pairs the two butterflies the two cute little mice I noticed the sunflowers were here are paired in twos six okay we see this in increments of twos the two people the bunny and the cat like the two animals something here I'm seeing like in twos so it could be there's a collective group of you that there is going to be hesitation in connecting with something again. Maybe you're feeling afraid to jump into um, something that brings you happiness or something that fulfills you. But I see that you're meant to connect with this. Now, in terms of like success, career, abundance, sometimes the very thing that is going to be successful in your life it's something that you're also afraid to pursue or that you are intimidated by. So the Six of Cups almost feels kind of like a very approachable, childlike energy where you're being invited to be like open to it, to be playful about the situation. Don't take it so seriously. Have fun with it. Hmm. Someone from your past too. It could be colleague, friend, mentor, an acquaintance, perhaps their presence may be popping up in your path to help you, to help guide you through some type of um, obstacle. Now we see death coming here too. Now a big bulk of you, Scorpio, some of you are putting an end to this limiting belief. So spirit is saying like, put an end to it, okay? <laughs> Chop it out, cut it out. We need to put this to a like a strong ending. Lay it to rest. Transforming yourself and clearing the way to bring in the new. Also, letting go of unhealthy attachments in your path. I see that being very, very key for your success. This could also be the influence that surrounds you because the sword energy, Scorpio, is um is air. Okay, and air is also like communication. So maybe words that were put onto you or that were spoken onto you. Maybe it's people that say things to you that make you feel some type of way. Like, oh, you're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You didn't go to, you know, college. You're a single parent. You're too old. You're too young. Whatever it may be. We need to eliminate that. So it's like cut it out. Break away from those old habits or those patterns or those behaviors, um, purging, you know, like the old limiting memories or beliefs or baggage and make way for the new chapter because the death energy also shows like a reincarnation with the white rose, like showing a, a new start, a new growth. And then we have the four of cups. Okay, something here I see 
you somewhere here you need to cut out boredom not all of you this is like for a sp specific group of you scorpio some of you you turn to things that are not productive when you are bored okay because maybe you don't know what else to do or you don't know where else to focus your attention not all of you but there there are some of you where because or it could also be oh you know what it could also be um procrastination but sometimes procrastination stems from fear we are afraid to finish something or to dive into something so this is a distractive energy you are distracting yourself through other pleasures because you are avoiding the one thing that matters okay improving your health improving your fitness improving your path some of you may be turning the other cheek when you know that there's something that is left undone that needs to be completed and you're like oh let me just read this book oh let me just finish this tv show it's like mm -mm -mm, scorpio you need to finish something something needs to be done okay and it, until it's done it's going to keep popping up in your face okay it's going to it's going to keep popping up it's going to keep appearing in your path until you get it done and i think a lot of you may know what this is pertaining to now, let's take a look at the Eight of Cups. Your Eight of Cups, we have the Five of Wands, Six of Pentacles, ooh, and the Ace of Wands as a clarifier. I feel like, let me pull another card. I want another card here in the center. Well, speaking of twos, isn't that interesting how when I saw the Six of Cups, look, the double, the double eights are coming in. We see the double sixes coming in the double fours wow okay double major arcanas wouldn't that be crazy if we got like an ace maybe like a double ace so let me see oh okay let me see hierophant is coming in speaking of double look we have the two of swords on the bottom hierophant <clears throat> okay we'll get to that in a minute eight of cups walking away okay towards the end of august moving into september scorpio i do see that there is this pull to separate yourself from something or someone because one of your clarifiers is the five of wands and this is showing conflict this is showing distraction or disagreement it's also possibly competition someone may be trying to compete or throw you out um or scatter your energy okay this may also be aggress aggressiveness dealing with someone that's very aggressive they're just not trying to turn down they aren't going to let this go and um you're no longer holding back you're like you know what i'm taking off i'm leaving can't deal with this and sometimes the best thing to do in your path um to you know succeed to excel is to walk away from the things that are causing resistance in your life that are causing too many um conflicts okay there's also sometimes people that block your success that block your riches and your abundance your ideas your passion and that blockage is going to be a thorn on your side until you deal with it so i do see that there's a group of you scorpio where you're tired of the blockage okay you're tired of maybe defending yourself you're tired of possibly you being the only one fighting for something that's that's right and your energy is you just don't have the energy or you don't even feel like this deserves your energy so i do see you leaving you leaving something um not to say that you didn't try to fix or repair it because i definitely see that there was a time that you were trying to put in um like your defense mode where you were trying to make it maybe stable but now you're seeing that with this five of wands you and this energy it's not on the same page whether it, i feel like it's a group of people or it could be like the main person they're always fighting you and um you know it has nothing to do with strength but it's more like you're seeing that this other person they're not trying to work with you they're working against you so leaving okay leaving turning away from that aggressiveness and that stubbornness is going to benefit you in the long run in your path in your quest now we see the six of pentacles so scorpio spirit's also showing that with the eight of cups if you see the moon in the background this is intuitive um with your 
I mean, this is connected to your intuition, okay? This this is an intuitive pull here. So I wouldn't be surprised if, especially towards the last week of August, first week of September, your intuition is going to somehow play out in a way that you're going to do things that you're, doesn't maybe necessarily make sense or you don't understand, but you just have a feeling, okay? That's what intuition is. We don't see or understand the meaning of it, but we feel it right? We have a gut feeling about something. And I see that appearing here where you're just going to know, like the timing is right to do something, to pursue something. And you're like, you know what? I have a feeling something is coming. I meant to go somewhere else, but where you're going, there's reciprocated energy. The six of pentacles shows that there is a balance of give and receive. So where you're going, you are going to give, but you're also going to receive the value that you give, or you're also going to receive and what you receive you are going to feel good about it. That is going to make you want to give, okay? Give equal value. So especially when it comes to a job or a personal project, maybe with some type of financial opportunity, it's going to be a balanced energy. What you put out, you're going to receive that same value, okay? Because some of you have been in a situation where you gave, 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 but you received little. You received pennies. You received, you know, maybe all you received was like just stress. And here the Six of Pentacles is showing that, all right, Scorpio, it's time for you to, you know, your intuition knows it's time to move on from something that just takes, takes, takes when you're meant to connect with something that also gives, okay? Because that's what life is all about, a balance. If you think about companies, if you think about artisans and um, business owners, right? You have to provide something to the customer in order for the customer to give you money. Sometimes the customers will give you money and support you, but in return, you have to provide a service or a product or a value, right? Consultation, advice, your service, so that there is an exchange of equal energy. And that's what I see here. Where you're going, Scorpio, you're going to find that there is equal energy or you're in the pursuit of finding equal energy. Now we have the Ace of Wands. Hmm. Here's the thing about my water signs, especially you and Pisces, okay? You guys have really good ideas, grand imagination. You guys are great dreamers. Now it's time to act upon that. The Ace of Wands is all about being fired up, okay? In, being inspired. But with that inspiration, allowing it to expand into the physical realm. Experiment with that expansion. This is a fertile time, okay? Give birth to your ideas, to your vision, to your dreams. It doesn't have to all be done in one day, but start to activate the flame, okay? And then continue to fuel that flame. So Scorpio, there is this little fire that's burning within you where you're like, you know what? I'm going to do something on my own or I have a different outlook and I want to expand on that outlook. I want to grow in a different direction. So the power is in your hands. You are going to get the power, okay? You don't have to rush into it, but just know that you are moving out of darkness into clarity. The light is going to guide you through the dark, okay? You just have to be open to see it. Now let's take a look at our Hierophant. As we um, close out here, Hierophant for Scorpio. How are they gonna, how is this gonna benefit them? Surrounding money, finance, wealth, success. Again, Scorpio, let me know if these messages are something you would be interested in separately, or should I combine them with your monthly reading? Let me know. Let's see. Scorpio, okay, these, this deck stopped me right here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Eight of Cups is coming out again. <laughs> The Fool and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, it's official. All right, the Hierophant. This is spiritual wisdom. Okay. Spiritual wisdom, but this is also a calling. A calling, an answer to something that you've been looking for. Guidance, spiritual guidance obedience to the guidance 
honoring some sacred path, okay? All of this, the, this is the key, the Hierophant. It's almost like it's initiating or it's calling you. It's calling you. There's a calling. Look at the double moon. I mean, moon energy is Pisces too. Um, but, you know, it's water. So it's almost like you are being called. Some of you feel that already, or you will be feeling that. Like there is this, it, there, there's this calling. It's trying to reach out to you, Scorpio, and say like, hey, your calling is much bigger than where you're at. Where you're at is nothing compared to where you're meant to go, where you're meant to be, but it's going to require you to take that leap of faith, to take that risk, okay? Maybe that's why we see the Eight of Swords. Some of you, you are afraid or um, I should say maybe intimidated. Maybe you think that you are not qualified for this higher calling. But look, we also have judgment. So Scorpio, this is almost like a spiritual awakening where like the universe is trying to tap into you, okay? It's trying to wake you up and say, hey, you're meant for bigger and better things. But will you accept this new journey? Will you jump into it or are you going to continue to hold off? There's a lot, there's unlimited potential for what's lying ahead. We have the queen of pentacles. Uh, you know what I see here? Scorpio, if you remain open to the purpose of your life, your highest calling, what you're meant to do, okay, how you're meant to serve in this world, the universe will guide you. God, source, your angel, spirit guide, again, your higher source that you resonate with, there's guidance. The Hierophant offers guidance because this the Hierophant is spiritual wisdom, okay? It's passing down knowledge and values to help you, you know, tap into and honor your, your task. It unlocks, it has the key to unlock different levels in your life. And if you're ready, if you are ready to accept the calling, be open to it, okay? Pray, meditate, let the universe know, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to be open for whatever path is meant for my highest good. Feel free to use that affirmation too. I remain open for what is best for my highest path. I remain open to opportunities and blessings that are best for my highest path. But with that, it does require you to leave. Leave behind things that you may be familiar with that may have once gave you comfort. Things that you may at one point love, but I do see it's not going to last very long because these cups are empty and you need to quench your thirst, okay? So where are you going to go? You need to seek your water, metaphorically speaking. So the fool is showing like, be open. Maybe, it, you know, hey, you may be moving on to a new place, pursuing a new project, a new company, a new position. Maybe you're going to be in a new title in your life. Connect with new people. Okay, go with the flow, take that chance, time to travel and wander. See what happens. The queen of pentacles, if you didn't know, she also represents like a sponsored energy, sponsorship, nourishment. Um, she provides support. So if you are open to it, Scorpio, I do see that you are going to receive support. Okay, so if you think that certain things are not possible, somehow the universe will come together and bring you the support that you need. It will give you the support that you need to follow the task that is calling you. Wow, okay, what a big spiritual message here for you, Scorpio. Very interesting, very, very interesting. Very deep, I would say here too. One of the deeper readings that I've had in a long time, and I think this is very, very key, especially for my water signs. Sometimes the thing that you think you are meant to do based off your ego is not what you are made to do and maybe that's why sometimes you are faced with resistance because you're forcing something to happen based off of your time or based off of your timeline or your blueprint but you can do something so much bigger and better if you remain open to it so I think this is a sign here, especially with double eight of cups, showing that, hey, you may need to pursue something else. 
something that's much bigger and better for you up ahead, but it's going to require you to believe. Look, we have another moon, okay? Believe in the unseen. The moon also shows um, hidden, okay, a hidden path. The moon illuminates the darkness, but not enough where you can see the full picture. Just enough that where you can see your path ahead. Just enough where you don't stumble. And I think that's what that's, this is showing you here, Scorpio, is that you may not see the full path ahead, but you're, you're going to be shown just enough to get you to the next level, and then the next level, and then the next level, okay? So definitely make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for your September reading. Until then, stay well and be blessed.